We've seen a little bit of a lineup shakeup for the Fargo Moorhead Red Hawks as they come off of a rough week at home. The Hawks slipping down to second place in the West after dropping both their series this week at Newman Outdoor Field. These losses combined with two of their biggest offensive weapons being missing from their lineup. The Hawks lost two out of three games to the Cleburne Railroaders to open the week and then dropped two more games to the Chicago Dogs to close things out. That brought them down to 26 and 19 overall, now two games behind Sioux Falls in the West. This also marked the first homestand since losing their batting leader is Alcantara after he transferred to the Mexican League. Another one of their big offensive weapons, Dylan Thomas, was also absent from the lineup this week, though manager Chris Coast expects him to return soon. Coast talked to us about his roster's condition with just weeks left until the All-Star break. Well, the bottom line is, like every team, it's try to stay healthy. Right now we're a little bit banged up, but pretty much every team is kind of going through that. You know, with Dylan Thomas not in the lineup, but he'll be back eventually. And, you know, we've added a guy. We'll probably add another pitcher at some point soon. So the bottom line is we need to, for the most part, win with the guys we have in there, a few reinforcements. But um, the bottom line is we got to try to stay healthy. That new signing that coach mentioned is pitcher Jake Ozowski. He's a pitcher from Minnesota Crookston that spent some time with the Red Hawks in June. Now the league announced today that he's back on the Fargo-Moorhead roster. The Hawks are hitting the road for their next matchup. They meet Lincoln tonight to start a new series. Today marks the start of free agency in the NHL. Two of our former UND players wasting no time finding new homes. Tyson Jost will be joining the Carolina Hurricanes on a one-year deal. After a couple of seasons in Buffalo, here he is with their AHL affiliate. The 26-year-old has registered 140 points in 465 career games between Colorado, Minnesota, and Buffalo. And Derek Forbit is heading north of the border, signing a one-year deal with Vancouver. The 32-year-old is approaching his 500th NHL games. Guys, it was a record-setting day for NHL free agency. Over a billion dollars worth of contracts Ooh, being wow. signed for the first time ever. New record for the opening day of NHL free agency. The Minnesota Wild making a little bit of a move by retaining one of their players. We're going to have more on that coming up at 10. It's been a busy day, for sure. Very busy. <laughs>